and welcome to the lab on NetStat. Now, if you recall in the lecture, we wanted to make sure, obviously, that you had no open ports or unnecessary open ports on any servers that you own. So it's easy enough to check that out on any server that you have using the built-in DAS command NetStat. So on any kind of a Windows server, you're going to find this. There's nothing to install. And I suppose there's similar commands on Linux boxes that you could use the same principles. So here we have a little cheat sheet for the NetStat command. And if you so the minus A is displays all connections and listening ports. Minus N displays addresses and port numbers in numerical form. And minus F uh, displays the FQDN, or the fully qualified domain name. So in general, you're going to run the netstat command with the minus ANP. It's the easiest way to do it. And if you want to just see TCP, where, which is obviously the only connection-oriented protocol of these three, then you can use that. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, th this is actually a workstation and not a server, which would be the more common use of it. But uh, So just, just bear that in mind with the results that we get. So this, this that we're looking at here is a Windows, a Windows 7 professional workstation. So if we run the uh, the command netstat minus a and p minus tcp, you can see what ports we are listening on. So we're listening on 135, which is uh, NetBIOS, 445, which is HTTPS, and etc. So you can see that it's listening on these. It's not giving you any kind of an address here. Uh, and and you can see that th there's an established connection to something here. And these are actually saying that it's closed. So now, right now, I'm not connected to any to any websites or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open up a uh, open up a web browser here. Okay, so now we're connected to this website, which is, this is my website here, and we'll just close this out, and now we'll just go ahead and we'll clear this, and we'll run the command again. Now look how much more stuff that you have. So you can see that we're still listening on the same ports, but now it's showing a bunch of established connections. So let's see. So we notice here that we're still listening on the same ports, but now we have some established connections. So if you look at the established connections here, these are all high-numbered ports. In other words, they're, they're not well-known ports like port 80 for HTTP or, or uh, you know, port 21 and 22 for FTP. They're high-numbered, which means that I am connected to a server. If you looked at the server, then it would show like port 80 or port 445 for HTTPS. But if you look at a workstation, it chooses these at random. So that's what you'll, what you'll end up seeing. That is the end of this lab. Thank you very much for listening.